Hello, my beautiful Aquarius dragons. Welcome to your full moon reading for February. Woo! February the 16th, 2022. Now, the energies do start earlier and go for a few days. However, um, earlier is Valentine's. So, whether you like it or not, I'm going to be pulling a card at the end just for Valentine's Day, just for fun. Okay? Even if you don't have um, anybody to spend it with, honestly, who cares? So just, uh, it's just about the day, right? Because no matter what, it could be very triggering, it could be very healing, or it could be very wonderful. So let's, uh, let's see what it is. But really, it should always be. It is just another day. And, um, but because it is an occasion, it can be a triggering day. So hopefully getting some good advice for you guys. So let's see what's coming up for Aquarius. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. So let's see what's come out. So hold your vision. You're very close to achieving your goal. And what do you need to release? Yeah, so you guys, you're having to let go of something, obviously. Okay, so, um, you know, but, but I feel like you really are starting to hold strong. I feel like you're gaining momentum and gathering strength. And this is a good reading. Um, let's see. So, but it's also like, what do you need to release? So with this full moon, it's full moon in Leo. So it's asking you to look at what, what it's like when you're, um, when you're in the spotlight. Do you fear it? Do you have anxiety over it? Do you become boastful and egotistical? So what is it about being in the center of things? How do you behave and what do you need to fix around that? So when you think about Leo, you think about the center of attention. What happens to you when you're the center of attention? And that sort of, that's something that's really deep that needs to, um, you know, be brought to the forefront sometimes. It's like, whoa, where did that come from? Okay, maybe you're fine, right? Maybe you're fine and yeah. I don't know anybody who's fine that comes on and watch tarot readings. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get some cards, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's go. Uh, let's go, let's go. Two more shuffles, and then I'm going to read. One. Okay, okay. Just a second. I'm going to do one more. I know I said two more, but that one. Yeah. Okay. Fine. It was a weird shuffle. So I was like, okay. So only four cards came out. So let's see where this goes. So we have the King of Coins. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the um, Seven of Swords. And then we have the Four of Coins in reverse. I feel like you're hanging on too tight to something that happened um, with, and, and so this could be a person, but I'm going to read it as a situation for now. I'm going to clarify. Actually, you know what? Let's clarify. So because you have the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like somebody betrayed you in some sort of new beginning. And I don't think it's, it could be love, but it's something. It could be friendship. It could be somebody who came to you and maybe even offered you stability. Somebody could have offered you um, a job, right? And you were like, yes, and you got betrayed by it. And, um, and I feel like you're sort of, you're hanging on to that betrayal. Like you're hanging on to that sort of poverty mindset. Yeah. Yeah, look, the Knight of Coins in reverse. So it's um, it's almost like something um, unwelcome came in when you were doing that. Yeah, this new beginning, it did not, like it was just, it was not a good situation. And um, yeah. I think that this is all past energy. I think you need to release whatever happened. I'm not taking those. Oh, two cards came out. Yeah, look at somebody was tricking you with the ten of coins. Somebody was tricking you um, with sort of um, 
the idea of, oh yeah, well, this is the way it can be and da 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 da. I look at, <laughs> I look at this, I'm sorry to laugh, but I look at this as like those ML, ML, L, MLM things where it's like, oh yeah, you're your own owner and da 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 da. And it's like, you can drive the pink Cadillac. And it's like, no, nobody gets the pink Cadillac. And in fact, all you're doing is making the people above you more money. And then you realize it's like, it was this tricky. I don't know if it really was, but that's sort of the situation. It's like, here, here. And then you get in, it's like, what? really? That's not, that's not what you said it was going to be. That's not what you came in as, right? And I feel like you were just so deeply betrayed that you just can't get over it. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so here. This is what, I don't know, I don't know when these three flipped up, but they came in. So this is what we're doing. We're moving all these over. So this is all what you need to release. I'm moving this here, okay? We're reorganizing because it's, that's the way the timeline is. You need to release this. Look at this. So you have choices, okay? But I think that you have a lot of, um, I think you have a lot of doubt going on in your mind about these choices and you're not releasing um i feel like your hope has been destroyed that you might have more choices right and and i think that this all comes with what you need to release right you need to let it go you have death in reverse you're keeping yourself stuck okay so you need to throw out the old so the new can come in because look at you have the star the star is the calm after the storm okay this is healing Okay, this is on a very deep level being supported by the universe, right? Saying yes, right? And moving ahead with confidence, right? Remember what I said about this moon coming through? Is it's what happens when you're in the spotlight. Are you going to say yes when this comes through? You're holding the vision, right? You're very close. Are you still, are you going to say yes? Or are you going to not and possibly mess it up? Right? So I feel like though that you're getting to a space where you feel good with your position sort of in the world, right? Like it's taken a long time and you're doing good. This is still very much in your energy, whatever happened here. And it could have been a multiple, um, multiple events that sort of, um, stole your hope, right? Something stole your hope. Can we clarify the star, please? Can we keep going with the star card? Okay. One. No, I'm not taking those. That's like a huge. Come on, guys. Two. Okay. Not taking those. Oh, okay. I'm hearing that I, sh I don't have. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take all of these. Yeah. I was waiting for that. Okay, so you have, these all came out sort of sideways. You have the Palace of Coins, the Ace of Coins, and the King of Swords. I hear that you were stuck. This really made you get stuck in your head in a bad way. I feel like like you took steps forward and then you went back and then you went forward and then you went back, right? King of Swords, this is you guys. You guys are air, right? So it's, it's... It's like you went to the good side and then the bad side and then the good side and then the bad side, right? And it affected any any new beginnings, right? You might have sort of um, stopped things from happening, right? It could have affected your stability, right? And what it is is, so there's this queen of wands here. So you might have somebody in your energy that was trying to give you... Um, um, passion. They were trying to give you motivation. They were trying to help you somehow, right there. And, and they might've been there because this, this energy, this person could be a friend, could be a family member, could be somebody, could be a fire sign, but it's somebody who's very passionate, very uh, well-spoken, very caring, right? Um, with energy and passion, right? Like they want to help you move forward or you found this in yourself. Somehow you found this to make it to the star because you realized, because you have temperance down here, that you realized that, you know, you were, I think you were trying to force the wrong things and things kept stalling 
And I, I think that you learned how to sort of control your mind. You learned how to control the thought process. Or you're still learning, okay? It doesn't just happen overnight. But you are figuring out how to do this. And look at this. Hold your vision. You're very close to your goal. So also make sure that you tell yourself that you do deserve that goal. Make sure you do believe it, right? Say, I deserve to have this. Because sometimes we have it, but then when it comes down to it, we're like, ah, and we freak out and then we make it not happen, right? So really make sure that you truly, truly deep, deep down can see yourself, visualize yourself with it, right? Visualize yourself in that sort of, uh, of uh, relationship with yourself, with money, with health, with finances, whatever this is, um, just make sure that you see that. It's a really good reading, guys, right? And look, so this is also you showing up in your reading. This is very powerful, okay? So this is a really, really good reading. You just have to hold your vision and keep up. If this Queen of Wands is somebody in your energy and they sort of give you the positive energy, let them know right? Always be grateful. Show that you're grateful and show that you have gratitude for them and for what they've given you and what they continue to give you. Okay, guys? Okay, your Valentine's cards. Let's see. Two and let's see. I also don't want to, I almost don't want to know what's going on. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Oh, look at this. So, relationships evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth yeah like this you like i said you might be doing a ton of healing and look paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness enjoying each other so here's the deal if you're single just enjoy your growth enjoy playing and be playful maybe find a friend or even just do something that you you know something on your own right? You can turn the music up loud in your house. You can go and have a nice, wonderful bath and light candles and do, you can have your own very romantic time, right? You can have a glass of champagne on your own. You don't have to wait for somebody else. And if you're with somebody, this is really a, a really fantastic time for you. Okay, guys. So yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful full moon and a great Valentine's. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in your next reading.